Hello, how is it going? So today's video is all about hair and uh, my hair care routine. Um, I'm somebody who through a lot of uh, bleach has actually um, damaged my hair quite a bit. I'm also somebody who's got a very thick hair type um, also, it's gotten incredibly long during lockdown. Um, you might not have the same hair type or have been on a similar hair journey, but because of what I put my hair through and the condition of the hair that I was left with, I spent a lot of time researching hair care products, shampoos, conditioners, heat protections, um, leaving conditioners, just anything really that I could put in my hair and I thought it would be perhaps to some of you useful to share what I used. Maybe you're happy with your current hair routine, maybe you're not, perhaps you're like me, you're always looking for something new, always open to a new uh, routine or product to help you maintain, repair or style your hair. So we'll just get into it. Um, the first thing that I would do if you are looking into your hair type or curious about what kind of products you might benefit from using is just to do a strand test. So I'm going to try and get one of the longer strands and then just do this with you. I've done it before so I know what the result will be and I don't know how well this is going to show up on camera. But what we're looking to do is just hold your hair um, like this and then you want to gently pull it and keep pulling. And what we're looking for when you do your strand test is if you pull it and it snaps straight away, your hair's dry. If you pull it and it, this is quite a long strand. If you pull it and it stretches but doesn't bounce back, then your hair's damaged. So snap straight away, dry, stretches out, doesn't stretch back, damaged. If you stretch it out and it bounces back, you've got healthy hair and, you know, you can just pick the products that smell nice, which is what I used to do when I had healthy hair. Like, but that is a joke, like I will actually talk about what I'd recommend if your hair is healthy, just to maintain that later on. So we'll do this test. You don't want to like yank it or snap it. Um, you want to be like fairly gentle but persistent. So we're pulling and my hair is stretching. It's not bouncing back. Um, appreciate it might just look like I'm moving my fingers along. But I promise you that's not what's happening. We'll do it again. It's stretching out. Oh, and it snapped. Okay, so we've got a bit of damage and it's quite dry. Um, you might be interested to do that yourself and see what results you get. With the pressure, I would probably describe the pressure that you want to put on as um, just like a gentle tug, really. Maybe if you were trying to get a knot out, that kind of pressure. Again, if you do something really extreme, you're going to get an extreme result. But it's just about testing the strength and condition of your hair. So with my damaged hair, uh, the things that will repair, which is something you'll see on a lot of products, they'll talk about um, repairing, hair repair, damage repair, damage remedy. So repair and damage, it's the same thing. And you're looking for protein or keratin as your um, key ingredient that's going to give you like the benefit and the, the action and the, the active ingredient that will help you. If you had the hair that snapped with a bit of pressure, it's dry, so you want um, oils, moisture, anything that talks about that. And the best way to um, benefit from products, I'm going to talk through the cheaper options first. Now obviously my main concern is damage, so the main products I'm going to be talking about are repairing products, but often Brands will have a range for dry, healthy, or normal hair, or damaged, you know, protein. You'll be able to find your kind of products that you need from that brand, but this will just be about damage. Um, 
well this one's actually an oil product <laughs> but I'm talking about these so I did buy the damaged version so this one is described as a nourishing product and this one is described as coconut oil so that's for the dry hair what you're looking for when you're buying products these these are really cheap you can get these for a couple of quid and the ingredients are actually really top end and the quantities are also really top end so if you don't have a lot of money to spend or you know you're not into getting things online you can get this in the supermarket which is pretty much the only thing that's open right now uh, what you're looking for whatever your hair concern is is your products to be on the ingredients list like really high up the top not like right down here i've talked about this in another video so the nearer an ingredient is to the top it's often not going to tell you the quantity it's not like food but the general rule is the nearer a ingredient is to the top of your ingredients list the more of that ingredient is actually in the product so i think here we start with some seed oil aloe vera coconut juice and we're talking about like four fifth six product on this list which means it's right up at the top after just the stabilizers and stuff that they put in to stop it going off or going bad. So that's as good as you're gonna get really, unless you actually go into your kitchen and get some coconut oil, which you know, you can do. Um, we've all got time for that probably at the moment, but you know, I just like to use a product because it's really easy. and don't really wanna take like a jar of coconut oil into the bath or the shower. Um, so yeah, these I would 100% recommend for anyone who is on a budget because you will get salon quality ingredients and results without spending a huge enormous amount of money. Now I'll be honest with you, so I also got the um, mask in this range, smells really nice hair coconut food also i think it's about four quid you can get this in home bargains supermarkets boots superdrug anywhere um unfortunately this didn't work for me because i felt like my damage was quite intense and i just don't know if the exact quality of the ingredients although it is the stuff that you need if you have extreme damage, you might actually have to invest a bit more. But if you've got kind of like not a huge amount of damage or you're just trying to maintain healthy hair, then your hair will probably be able to take this. Um, and if it doesn't work out, so all that really happened to me, I just felt that my hair was a little bit crunchy afterwards. But it's still something which if I was on a budget, I would invest in because it was better than the other cheaper options that are out there. They're just, you know, full of chemicals and fragrance um yeah this this stuff's really good and I, I hope it works for you um it's definitely worth a go again if it doesn't work like you can probably get the whole range for less than 10 pounds so you know it's not not the end of the world and you could always give it to your partner I'm sure it would get used I mean Dan's not like huge on his hair, but he obviously has to wash it. So I'm not gonna be upset if his hair smells of coconut, so it looks shiny. He's definitely got the kind of hair that could take it because his isn't chemically treated or heat styled or damaged. Um, so I had to invest a bit more um, because of the level of damage that I had. And one of the things I really liked, this is actually empty, is the whey treatment mask. Now the products, like the ingredients list on this is pretty intense to be honest, but we do have some high quality ingredients, coconut oil, shea butter. So that's like a mixture of damage repair and moisture, very near the top of the list. You don't get a large quantity and this is quite expensive. I think I got it on Look Fantastic in a deal. But I've gone through two of these bottles right now. As you can see, like this bottle versus my hair, it just isn't gonna last very long. I think you get 100 mil. So yeah, I would buy it again, but only when it's on offer. It is really good and it does work. 
but it's just pricey and as I say like the quantity you get for what you pay is really small but you do get your money's worth because after using this my damaged hair was really soft really shiny um, and it, it just worked so unfortunately if you were super damaged then you know you might have to invest more in in your hair had a nice smell um, as I say I'd repurchase but I definitely want to do it on a discount because I think it's like 20 25 pounds for 100 mil which it's not cheap is it it's not like four quid for 390 mil I wish this did for me what this does it just doesn't uh, so the next um, big investment I made was this Aveda botanical repair um, so initially I bought the tiny pot because this is nine pounds it's like over twice the price of this and I think you get 25 mil this one I don't even want to tell you how much this one cost how much do we get in this 450 mil as you can see like I've really been getting through this again unfortunately it's astronomically expensive but it really does work it's very frustrating how much it works so again right near the top of the ingredients we've got avocado oil seed oil seed oil shea butter sunflower oil just loads and loads of oils so this is extremely moisturizing and I found it so easy after washing my hair with this to get a brush through you know it it wasn't getting crispy when I was styling it and it's it's given me a lot of shine so unfortunately I'll probably again have to repurchase this but as I said it will be when it's on a deal just to give you some context I think even with a deal this was over 60 quid so yeah I'm really really sorry um, if you are in a position where you might end up buying that because it's just a horrible <laughs> thing to start having to purchase when like you know I'm sure we'd all rather spend a lot of money like 60 pounds on something else apart from our hair but some of us want to invest in that can invest in that or you know have to because because they've had a lot of damage so the other thing that I'll talk about obviously these are a couple of quid and you get 360 mil so it's quite a nice amount of product even for someone like me, this is probably gonna like last quite a long time, that amount of product. Um, but one of the things I started doing, so my day-to-day -day conditioner, not treatments at the moment, is Redken Extreme. Now these bottles are a thousand mil, so it's like three times what's in here. And throughout lockdown, um, I think I've had to repurchase once. And when I say lockdown, I mean like the last year of the pandemic we've been living in. Um, so if you had less hair than me uh, and it wasn't as long, then obviously a thousand mil, it might last you longer than a year. Now I got these for £20 each. Um, but, you know, when you break that down like month by month, 12 divided by 40, or perhaps longer if you have less hair, if you end up choosing a salon quality product. Um, I'm not actually gonna do the maths because I can't right now. Sorry, <laughs> I'm sure you're smart enough to do the maths. But if you compare it to the price of this um, and perhaps how often you might buy it, it ends up being really similar. Uh, and some products, you don't get as much, you might get 200 mil or 150 mil in like a supermarket, drugstore, shampoo and conditioner. So you can end up getting a really similar price over the time that these will last you. Obviously they use less plastic, um, which is amazing. It's obviously whether you can save on your plastic use, that's better. Now, the ingredients on this, it's not as amazing as, you know, some of the hair masks. But I did find that this made my hair smell really nice. I think, to be honest, it just coats your hair. 
um, which gives it some strength. It's not like a miracle restorer, but it definitely got me through a lot of the like damage that had happened about, well, I don't know, maybe a year and a half ago. And it's something which I did go on to repurchase. Now, you don't have to get this Red Ken Extreme brand. Obviously, <clears throat> the Extreme is, is for damage. You might want like a mix of things just to maintain the quality of your hair. But what I would recommend doing is doing your strand test, finding out what sort of hair you have. And I'd use like the longest, longest strand you can find because that's the oldest hair. It's had the most heat, the most product, the most um, abuse basically. Like don't pick some healthy hair from the top because that's virgin hair pretty much. Um, it doesn't need the same kind of treatment as your ends. So when you've done your strand test and you find out what sort of hair you have, if you start like looking for a range online, you can just search moisturising, damage repair, even normal hair. Um, when you find a range that you're interested in, just look for the ingredients. Some websites won't list all of the ingredients for you to check for your oil, oil ingredients near the top or your protein keratin ingredients near the top. But if you find a range that you're interested in, and the ingredients aren't there, just copy and paste the name of the product and then type ingredients. And some, not, not even all the brand websites will list ingredients, but someone somewhere will list it and you'll be able to check, like, is it worth me spending this money? Um, again, where you choose to shop, if you do find a higher end product that you want to invest in and you're looking for like a large size um, to get a good deal on, Again, just put that into Google and use the shopping function. It will often tell you about um, sites you might not be aware of, like terrencepool.com, I think is where I got this from. Um, when I repurchased it, I might have got it from Hair HQ. Just things that I like wouldn't have been aware of, but Google told me, oh, okay, this retailer is selling it for £35. This retailer is selling it for 22 and then when you go on one of those sites, if you agree to sign up to all their junk, you'll often get between five to 20% off your first purchase. So that's gonna save you some money, even if it's just a delivery fee. And you can always unsubscribe if you don't wanna hear from them again. Um, so yeah, that, that would be a top tip for me if you're going to spend more on your hair, um, buy larger sizes. And well, when you've decided you want it, perhaps buy a smaller size initially if you can, as I did with this Aveda one. Um, I got the small size first because I just didn't want to shell out if I didn't end up, if it didn't work for my hair. Uh, and yeah, then you will end up having that lovely like salon quality hair, getting all the benefits that you want for probably quite equivalent to a supermarket or high street brand, whatever you want to call it with your hair. Um, so just lastly, I want to touch on some other products that I use. So my main concern is damage, but I also feel like my hair is dry. I want that moisture, I want that shine. So whilst I'll use like damage products in my shampoo and conditioner, when my hair's wet, which is when it's most vulnerable to damage, breakage, um, I used an argan oil. Now this was just from Tesco's, but like, I think the second ingredient after the stabiliser is keratin oil. So I'll just, this I've had this for ages now, like I'm gonna say two, three years, I'll just do a little squirt, probably two or three actually, when I get out of the shower and just run this through my ends when it's wet just to put some moisture in as well as all the protein and keratin. Um, when my hair's dry now, because we're in lockdown, you know, I'm working from home, I'm really lucky. Don't have to always go out with like fresh hair every single day. I'll actually let my hair dry overnight now. Um, normally it takes like a day, a, a full day, a full night, and into like the second day before it's fully dry. And then when it's fully dry, I, have really coarse like wavy hair I like to put like a, a wave in and smooth it um, so obviously that's heat damage now what I use it's dried naturally 
what I use as a heat protectant after that. I did buy this Aveda product because I was so, uh, <sighs> this really worked. So I was like, oh, maybe their heat protection spray will work. Now I don't like the smell of this. I didn't particularly love it. It was more like, um, I should have said anything left in it now. Oh, I don't know, it just, it wasn't very like sexy. It was more, it just kind of smells a bit flowery and I'm more into like sweeter, sexier smells. Um, so yeah, I didn't love this, but it was very moisturizing. It did work, but again, I think we get 100 mil. So this is your expensive option. It's between 20 and 30 pounds, depending on where you buy it. Um, the cheaper option is the GHD. This is like seven quid, but if you get it in a sale, you can get it for five pounds. Um, you get 120 mil versus the Aveda. I wouldn't repurchase this because I prefer the smell of this and I think this does a similar job. Um, so with my heat protection, I'll literally just section by section, spray this through and wait for it to dry I'll probably leave it for like I don't know however long 15 20 minutes until it's dry before I style it and then I really notice a difference when I'm using my straighteners to do a curl in the I think it helps it take the curl and I definitely feel like my hair's protected have a lot less breakage from consistently putting an additional product on Maybe it's just that the straighteners will like burn that off, not just go straight onto my hair and start burning. So yeah, I'd, I'd really recommend some sort of heat protection and the cheaper one on this is actually my favorite and it does a good enough job for my damage. So yeah, that is uh, my hair care, some tips, and I hope you found this useful. If you've got any questions or if you've got any recommendations, if you've got similar hair to me, or you're aware of a range that has really helped you, then I would absolutely love to know because I really don't want to repurchase this. I would much rather find something cheaper to repurchase that did the same job. Um, same with these, like I'm happy with them, but if you were to come to me and say, Steph, just shut up, I've actually found something amazing that you would love, then you know I would totally be looking up the ingredients, trying to find a deal and be really happy to buy it. So yeah, I hope you found this video useful and I will definitely be doing another hair video. If there's anything specific that you'd like to see, then let me know. It's probably gonna be about like maintaining your blonde and also about the products I use to style my hair. Um, oh, I meant to say, um, like, share, subscribe. You can also follow me on Instagram, um, probably for like some hair pictures or something if you're into that. And I'll probably follow you back because I like seeing pictures too. <laughs> okay, bye.